waiting, poise, thinking it. Great chance of making it 6-3. 60. That was a good scoring leg from both players. And when you're scoring well, throwing first, and you lose the leg, it can hurt. Great 1-3-6 finish there from Wade. And both the big finishes have come. His the opponent waiting on the double. Well, there's the Golden Girls. Enjoying the weekend here. 41. Some great darts fans down here in Minehead. Absolutely love the darts weekend. 100. Travel from all over the country. One hundred and forty. Certainly need a strong constitution to watch the darts at Minehead over the weekend. But they're enjoying it. Jenkins leading 5-4. 96. Just to remind you, Brendan Dolan, Metsior Sulovic and Ian White already through to the quarterfinals. It's going to spill. Great darts there from Wade. Jenkins attacking the throw. 140 leaves him Shanghai. Taking go in at the break five apiece. Still all to play for. Ooh, there. Got caught in two miles. Just didn't know where to go. He was thinking about it, thinking about it. Underneath the treble. With Jenkins. Needing one of those 60. Hail Mary shots. 160. 160. Well, he's had four maximum, yet to have a big finish. And this is as big as they come. Tops for the ball! 140. Well, it was heart in mouth time for James, James Wade, that's for sure. 60. To give us a level game, he needs tops. Can't afford to miss this. Wow. 50. Well, what a chance Terry again here 20. for Terry Jenkins. Double ten. Double five. Oh, yes, how yes, important yes, could that prove yes, to be? Jenkins. A break of throw for Terry Jenkins again. A missed opportunity for James Wade again. And Terry Jenkins edges ahead. We think this could be going the distance. Jenkins leads way 6-4 on Saturday night at the UK Open Finals.
Saturday night at Minehead for the UK Open Finals. I can tell you that Mervyn King leads Christian Kiss 3-2 over on board two. King struggling with a bad back, but uh, has taken out a 1-2-1 finish in that match, leading the Dutchman 3-2. Here, Terry Jenkins, 6-4 up against James Wade. Uh, already had five breaks of throw in this match, but crucially in the tenth leg, Wade had chances to make it 5-all. Um, Terry Jenkins hit double five, last dart in hand, and he takes control. Stolen has beaten Aidan Kirk, 9-7, Sulovic, 9-5 winner over Jamie Lewis. It's 8-4 up against Anderson. Gary Anderson missed two darts to make it 8-all. He would have had the darts in the decider, and Ian White nailed double seven to reach another major quarter-final. 9-7 winner over Gary Anderson. But where's your 10p here? James Wade has got to find another gear trailing despite three tub plus finishes. Well, that's about all he's done, really. That's what you have to say. Hasn't really scored well. It's Jenkins that's been hitting the maximums. That's his fifth. Wade has only hit one. Three tub plus finishes. But apart from that, he's been chasing the ball. 41. Three legs away, Jenkins. There you see 140's level, the 180 is obviously very crucial. Uh, Chris Mason, who's 53. watching uh, the action on board two, just let me know that Anderson missed two darts at double 16, it was, to make it eight all in that uh, nail biting match in the last 16 before Ian White won it on double seven. Here we have well, too many missed darts at double 13 from Jenkins. Crucially, 11 from Wade. 128. Oh, great set up there from Jenkins. Already hit a maximum in this leg. Looking ominous for Wade. And both players certainly up 16. the ante in that last Jerry session, Stuart. 40. The averages increased, which they had to do. Nice oh. score. Rolls Jerry reverse, Jerry you may remember. last leg Jenkins just missed tops didn't he for a 160 finish Wade has got to get a 160 well that was unlucky that really was unlucky it was going in wasn't it the slightest kiss so off the barrel 40. and Jenkins here looking at top for 7-4 no looking solid Game on. leads 7-4 Race to nine. I think James Wade will be very, very frustrated, Alan. He beat Mickey Mansell 9 1 with an average over 100. 97. 100. Impressive performance. His average in uh, his 9 5 win over Kim Hybrex on Saturday afternoon here in Minehead, but he's been off the pace here, that's for sure. Well, there's been three or four legs. Three clear darts at the double. Now, we all know it happens now and again, but when you're playing well and you make those kind of mistakes, it is frustrating. 140. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. And Jenkins hasn't had to do too much for a three-leg advantage. 58. But it's not over yet. Oh, we saw an amazing comeback, didn't we? This afternoon, Adrian Lewis from 7-3 down came back to win in a last leg decider against Ronnie Hybrex. And we will see Adrian Lewis a little later on in this mouth-watering fifth round clash against Raymond Van Barneveld. Yeah, it's not just the comeback, it's the manner of the comeback, isn't it? When you come back against 65. somebody who's playing well. Which AD did, and then what a fantastic last leg. So be a cracker. Lewis and Barnabelle. The final game on the main stage. More pressure here for James Wade. Double 18. 
Oh, that's Jordan well done. That's Jordan. well done. You can have that 96 finish to so 136, 101 and 136, but it's the misses in between the big finishes that are so far costing him. Well, the combination finishing has been pretty good. It's the three darts at the double is when he's been missing on four occasions in leg two, three, eight, and ten. 100. So three clear darts at the double. One hundred. Well, steady turn from Jenkins. Hold your throw. Go through to the quarterfinals. That's what he'll be telling himself. Yeah, longer distance tomorrow. One hundred and forty. Whoever gets through tonight into the last day, I'll wait for the draw. And then get the head down ready for a long day tomorrow. Or hopefully a long day tomorrow. Yeah. Who is going to be the first winner of the first TV major of the new season? This is better from James Wall. Back to back 140, and so he's a chance maybe here to, to break the Jenkins throw. Well, 161, needs a trouble 17. He's hit it, ball, ball for the ball! All on the way there. Grimace from Jenkins. Chance for Wade. Can he take it? Trouble 17. Oh, frustration again for James Wade. Just in case Jenkins misses. Double four. Oh, well done, Terry Jenkins. Under pressure, you know. Under pressure. That was a terrific dart. And he's one away from the quarterfinals. Oh, massive difference there. 8 5 and 7 6. So he had to hit it. I'm lucky with the 161, but came back to the board and denied his opponent a further opportunity. That's what it's all about. It's not just 59. missing the double, it's making sure your opponent doesn't come back to the board. Got some Wade. 140. 14-140s for James Wade in this game. Yeah, certainly the scoring's got better, apart from that shot there from Jenkins, he have increased the averages. I think to be fair, Jenkins is already thinking about the next leg, isn't he? Well, it can be dangerous, as you know, we've seen it so many times, but he is playing pretty well. Doesn't want to relax too much, but why don't you say he will... No, whatever happens here... Wade wins this one, he will be starting the next leg. Doesn't need to go the bull route. So trouble 19 or the bull. 98. Well, Terry Jenkins. Three quarter finals in the UK Open over the years. That's the best he's done. 94. Is he closing in Jenkins on a fourth quarter final of this tournament? Against a man who's won it twice. Topsy needs 23. Well, Jenkins earlier, if you remember, hit a maximum to leave double 15 and Wade missed three darts at the double. He can't afford to do it this time. Oh, he's out. Tops for Wade to stay in this match. He's missed with two by quite some distance. One more left. No score. Well, all three, an inch away. Oh, he's hit the treble 15. He's hit the treble 15, a roundabout way to win 17. the match, but he's missed the dart. James One dart at double 14. 10 to win it. A reprieve for James Wade. Well, as you could see by the angle there, it was covered by the flight, but it wasn't in. But that one is. Retrieve for the machine. Pulls another right back. 8 6. Still some work to do for Terry Jenkins. Doesn't want to get complacent. We all know James Wade has in his locker just that little bit of a purple patch. A couple of 12 doubters, maybe. 
Well, well he's it. making his move. Well, he is making his move with a second maximum. And in many ways, you know, for James Wade, the, the, the shackles are off, aren't they? Nothing to lose. He's got to go for it. Jenkins, though. Fantastic response from Terry Jenkins. Six of the very best maximums from the ball. Needs another. Oh, great dance from Wade. Good scoring from both players. Wade to stay in it. Jenkins for a place in the quarterfinals. 140 after nine. Wade, 181 after six. Should leave himself a finish here, but what will that finish be? Great last start. 81 gives him an outside chance. Big finish here for Jenkins, though. And again, hits the treble five with the first dart. Don't forget, Jenkins had that one dart at double ten to win the match 9-5. Wade here to get another leg back. Oh, great treble. Gives him two darts. Oh, only needed the one. Great response from James Wade. Showing some grit and determination. Join first here. Could it be a last leg decider? 11 dart leg from Wade to stay in the match. Well, drama here. 100. Just to uh, bring you up to date on board two, Mervyn King 6 3 up on Christian Kist. Yeah, Mervyn King's certainly going under the radar, isn't he? He's had some good wins. He's been three times on board two. Keeping himself out of the limelight. Playing well. Say Good win of a Chisnell, wasn't it? Yeah, same could be said for Kevin Painter and Dean Wynn Stanley, who play each other in the last game of the evening on board two. A lot of players who are slipping nicely under the radar into the quarterfinals. But will it be Jenkins? Will it be Wade? Wade here looking to take us to a last leg decider. Well, I have to say, this is an effort full of character and cover, uh, courage and no little amount of bottle and skill as well from James Wade because he, he really did look out of it. Well, he was out of it, wasn't he, effectively? At 8-5 down. Yeah, it certainly was. Certainly when you're playing a player against Jenkins Calibre, who was playing pretty well. James Wade, and the last two legs, has shown his best. He needed to. And he did. 140. Well, 11 data to win the last leg. Possible 13 data here. Same target. Has to switch now to double six. Good guide. Turned out to be a great marker. So we had to a deciding leg. James Wade was 8 5 down and somehow he's found a way courageously to fight back. Jenkins has already missed one match start to win this 9 5. Oh, what a great start. When you're throwing first in the last leg, you're almost begging for a ton. A 137 is a ton with a bit of interest. He'll be happy with the first three darts. Wade has to consolidate. 60. Only 60. Grimace from Wade. Well, Jenkins, I think Jenkins is thrown a little angry. 57. If you want to put it that way, I think he's frustrated. He knows he possibly should have won this before, and he's opened the door, hasn't he? He's let James Wade back in, and Wade's played magnificently. The last three legs, another treble, and it's wide open again. 100. Only a ton for James Wade. Still work to do for both in another nail-biting decider. Well, it's going to get tense the closer they get to that winning double. Oh, great darts from Terry Jenkins. Fantastic darts from the ball. You almost feel Wade needs to fill this in. Even a 140 doesn't leave him a finish. I'm lucky there just for a ton. Jenkins, 167. Doesn't need to go the ball route. Just set up. And then return. To hopefully take the match a sharp intake of breath from the ball 59. he's ready to charge to the winning post a 140 minimum ask for james wade here well needs a ton to leave a finish 100. no important last dart he has left to finish but jenkins here looking at 108
He's going to get one dart for the match, I think. One dart for the match, another dart for the match, and tops. That's James two match darts gone. Well, James Wade has had some great finishes in this match. Two, one, three, sixes. This would top them all. Trouble 20, trouble 19 for double 12. Oh, a long, long way off there for trouble 19. Almost felt he was going to have a throw at double 12. Not to be. So Jenkins returns for double 10. To win the match, and Terry Jenkins celebrates a place in the quarterfinals of the UK Open. He sees off a thrilling fight back from James Wade, the two times UK Open winner. And Terry Jenkins, for the fourth time in his career, is through to the last eight of the UK Open finals. Wins a thriller. All smiles for the ball, 9-8. He takes out Wade here in Minehead.